If we ever end up going to stars, there is a good chance that Bernard's star would be one of the first stars that human will visit. Fortunately, just recently, astronomers have announced the discovery of a planet around Bernard's star. This is Kainati Gapsha. Only six light years away, there is a small reddish star we call Bernard's star. It is smaller in size than our sun. Uh, it is about 1 20th the mass and the radius of our sun. And its surface temperature is cooler than our own star. Our sun is yellow in color and it's roughly its surface temperature is around 6,000 degrees. Bernard star, the surface temperature is around 3,500 degrees. So cooler than our own star. But now astronomers have detected a planet orbiting around Bernard star at a distance that is closer than the Earth is from the Sun. It takes this new planet 230 days roughly to go around the orbit once around Bernard's star. Uh, of course, uh, the Earth, it takes 365 days. Now we would think, we would imagine that, well, that would make this planet much warmer because it is closer to its star, but that is not the case. And uh, this planet around Bernard's star, even though it takes only 230 days for it to go around its star, it is much colder than the Earth. In fact, astronomers estimate that its surface temperature is around minus 170 degrees centigrade, or if you like Fahrenheit, it would be minus 275 degrees Fahrenheit. It is frigid cold, colder than conditions in Antarctica. And for that reason, astronomers think that probably there is no life on this planet. Now this particular planet is also a little bit bigger uh, than the Earth. Uh, in fact, it is what astronomers call super Earths. Super Earths are planets that are bigger than the Earth, but smaller than gaseous planets than like Neptune or Uranus in our solar system. Uh, and so this is about three times more massive uh, than our Earth. So the excitement is from the fact that this star is so close to us. And uh, in fact, uh, since this is a smaller star, uh, astronomers have been looking around planets like the Earth around it. Uh, the only other star system that is closer than Bernard's star is the Centauri star system, which is a system of three stars. And astronomers have detected a planet around Proxima Centauri. And now, we have a planet around Bernard star as well, the second closest star to us other than the system. One of the ways that astronomers detected this particular planet was not through directly looking at the star, nor through the most popular way of detecting planets, that is through eclipsing method, which Kepler Space Telescope detected many planets. Instead, this is a wobble method where the presence of a planet makes the, uh, the main star move a little. When planets and stars are moving, they're moving around the center of mass. And so the, the planet is moving more, but it also makes the star move a little as well. This motion is very small, but astronomers can detect it. And this planet's impact on the star has been detected in Bernard's star. And this is the reason why we know that this planet exists. Now, this particular star is seven to 10 billion years old, much older than our sun. And these particular type of red stars, in fact, far outnumber stars like our sun. In fact, they are five times more numerous than our sun. So having, detecting planets around these stars is really cool. 
because we know these stars are in billions uh, in our own galaxy as well. And so having planets around them means that we are talking about trillions of planets in our own Milky Way galaxy and really innumerable planets in our universe. But in the future, this super Earth around Bernard star may not have life. But it is quite possible that when humans explore or if human go humans start going to other stars, we may use this planet maybe as a way station, as a base to move on to other stars. This has been an idea that has been explored in numerous science fiction works. But up until then, up until now, this was purely fantasy that there was a planet around Bernard star. But now we know there is a super Earth orbiting Bernard's.